Okay guys, now I will quickly tell you everything that I will cover in the course. First, we're gonna start talking about the opportunities in the app stores, both the iOS app store and Google Play. First, I'm going to compare them just using numbers. This is a quick comparison, just to give you an idea. Then I'm going to talk about if the game has changed since the app stores began and how has it changed. And I'm going to talk to you about the new game and which strategy would be best to follow. Then I will go more in depth into that strategy. We will start talking about how you should upload many apps and how fast you should upload them, how simple they should be. And I'm also going to mention Pareto's law, which is a really amazing thing to help you with productivity. And it's one of the main ideas in which I'm focusing the course on. Then we're going to start talking about niches, target audiences and app themes. I will start talking about how you should define your target audience and help you define your target audience. I'm going to tell you where to get ideas and where the money is. I'm also going to close with some final thoughts on niches and ideas. Then we will talk about deciding on an app idea. I'm going to quickly mention trivia apps and why they could be a really good way to go. I'm also going to tell you where to get ideas and I'm also going to give you some bonus material. Then the next thing I'm going to talk about is the power of reskinning. What is reskinning and why is it a great idea? Why do most people don't do it? Then I'm going to teach you how to organize your ideas. I'm going to tell you how to document your projects, what information from your apps you should save and which tools work best to organize yourself. Then the next thing is planning and scheduling. Why should you plan and schedule? What does a plan look like and what does a schedule look like? The next thing is one of my favorites and it's outsourcing. I'm going to start by telling you why you should outsource. Then I'm going to tell you what you should outsource and then where to find programmers and designers or even marketers if that's what you're after. Then I'm going to tell you what you should be looking for in those people. Then we will look at what to do to get them, what to do to get those people. Then we will talk about outsourcing to designers, then outsourcing to programmers. Then we will talk about how to outsource design without any designers or how to get code already written. Then I will mention how to outsource audio as well. And finally, I'm going to give you a live demo of what it is that I do. I'm going to go through the process that I use to come up with an app or app idea and how I built it. I will show you how I get an app ready in just three days. I know it sounds crazy, but trust me, it really isn't. It is possible. The next thing I'm going to tell you is how to create and manage a team. I'm going to go through why should you create and manage a team. I'm also going to tell you how you should behave within the team and what your mentality should be. I'm going to tell you how much you should pay to people that you're outsourcing to and also how to check on their progress. Then I'm going to quickly talk about reskinning again. Uh, this is going to be a really short section. I'm just going to go through how to do it exactly and how to get ideas to reskin. Then the next thing is monetizing the app. This is really important because you want money. So you need to do this right. I'm going to tell you how to look at your market. I'm also going to tell you about in-app purchases and in-app advertising. After that, I will go through other monetization models as well. Following the monetization section, there is a case study of trivia apps. Trivia apps are actually a really good niche if you decide on doing it. And I'm going to tell you the good and the great things about them. I'm going to tell you how to anticipate trends and I'm going to tell you how to monetize them properly. Also, I will mention some copyright issues that you may find when doing trivia apps. After that comes app store optimization. This is crucial. This is one of the most important sections of the course. It's the longest section of the course as well. I'm going to tell you how to research competition. I'm going to talk about icons. I'm going to talk about previous screenshots and videos. Then we'll talk about titles. Then what your keywords should be like. Then I will talk about the description and then I will talk about the description specifically on Google Play for all of you Android developers. I will also talk about reviews and how to get better reviews. Then I'm also going to mention some other factors that affect your App Store optimization. And finally, guys, I will give you guys some extra resources in case you want to learn more about App Store optimization. After that, I will talk about marketing. First, we'll start talking about Twitter marketing. Then we will talk about Facebook marketing. After that, I will mention some other online marketing that you can do. 
And finally, we will finish with social calls to action. After marketing, there is a case study on KetchUp, uh, which is a company that uploads apps to the iOS App Store. After that, I'm going to tell you how to manage your time and be productive. This is sort of a bonus section because it doesn't have anything to do with apps or anything like that. At this point, you would be able to upload apps to the App Store or Google Play and start making some good money. But in this section, I'm just going to give you some tips about how to be more productive and how to manage your time so you can actually accomplish your target of making $5,000 a month by selling apps. I'm going to talk to you about the wellness of body and how to have wellness of mind. I will also tell you how to find motivation and where. And finally, I will tell you how to fight procrastination. And that will be the end of the course. I will also give you guys some bonus content, which includes a huge list of app ideas. I will also give you guys a list of articles that I recommend you should read. These could be some further readings or some articles that I have read that helped me develop this strategy or have helped me fight procrastination and be more productive. And I will also give you guys a list of books that I recommend just in case you want to read more and learn more about the things that I implement in the course. These are also the books that I read and that have led me to create the strategy that I teach you throughout the course. And finally, guys, I will give you some forms and templates that I use throughout the course and also I use in my own apps. These are forms where I save information and also templates of how schedules should look like, for example. And that is pretty much the entire course. It is a long course. It's around six hours plus a lot of bonus content and extra things. Throughout the course, I'll also be giving you some extra readings so you can learn more if you want. And like I said before, if you have any questions at all, please just let me know. I am here to help you. All right, that said, let's get started.